What's up everyone, this is Cam the Dog Nutritionist and this is my dog food review of Canagan's Dry Dog Food. These are the only dog food reviews where you'll get a breakdown of the ingredients, uh, the nutritional value of those ingredients to see whether or not the food is even healthy. Uh, unlike most dog food reviews you see online where people just say, my dog's been eating this food for two years and never had a problem or... Um, my dog loves the food. These are completely nonsensical reviews of a food. It should be nutrition based. So Canagon's dry dog food. The ingredients are here. So if you see me, I am not losing concentration. I'm just looking at the ingredients. So it starts off good with, well, it doesn't start off that good. Um, 26% freshly prepared chicken. Now, what you need to remember is it was fresh when it went in, but then when it got turned into a little brown nugget, it suddenly became quite highly processed, um, far less um, nutrition, um, far less available nutrients in a processed nugget because they've just been destroyed through the um, food processing. So this is a low amount of fresh meat in a food, or this is a low amount of fresh. If it was just fresh, it would be low, but it's not just fresh. It's gone through this food processing um, and it's still low. It's been propped up from a protein sense by the dried free range chicken, which is a meat meal, a powdered meat. This is made through a process called rendering, which is really disgusting. They take the carcass of an animal and boil it into a powder. And that animal only needs to be virtually free of hairs and contents of the stomach and things like this. It is extremely nasty. Sweet potato is good, but the peas, potato, um, pea protein, alfalfa, that is just filler ingredients. Um, peas and pea protein is a little bit worrying and the alfalfa there because um, of legumes and their, they've been shown in studies on dilated cardiomyopathy in America, that 94% of the dogs suffering from that issue had been consuming foods high in legumes. So I don't recommend feeding your dog legumes every day. Um, that doesn't mean they're not healthy in small amounts, but generally in large amounts, it's a no-no for me. So once you get past that, you, you have your, um, you know, the nice ingredients at the bottom there, like apple, carrot, spinach, psyllium, seaweed that will make up a tiny tiny proportion of the meal and it's not telling you the exact amounts for a reason um the overall analysis of the macronutrients is good but um just from a um just from an ingredient standpoint and especially the fact that it's just not fresh is going to mean this food is not healthy for your dog. Just like you and me, your dog needs fresh foods to stay healthy and, and have a long, healthy and happy life. So yeah, you desperately need to get your dog some fresh foods if they've been consuming this um, highly processed food for, you know, a year or plus, year plus. So that's my dog food review of Canigans. If you need any help, finding a fresh food, check out my website um, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers. Like and subscribe.